Okay, so this video is about how I've set up the reversing camera, or I should say rear view camera, on my caravan. Um, I've, I've gone with this particular model here, very good price, and uh, it features a long 10 meter cable which connects the camera to the monitor. So over here I've drilled a hole through the spare wheel holder and the cable comes through the back here and there is a convenient connection point here so that you can disconnect this when you're changing the tire. The rest of the cabling runs underneath the caravan all the way to the front. Just see the cable escaping the caravan and I've got the monitor inside because when the caravan's not being used or rather when I'm not driving I use it as a sort of a security camera to monitor uh, what's happening around the caravan. I've used a little switch here so when I press that switch on um, the camera goes on. So I place it over there so it gives me a pretty good view of what's happening um, behind. So when I'm traveling, when I'm in the car, I place the monitor into the car. So how did I do the wiring? Um, I began with an inline fuse. Keep the inline fuse empty as you do your wiring. And after you've completed your wiring, put the fuse in. That's going to make things very safe. So you're not going to uh, have an accidental short circuit while you have bare terminals uh, lying loose. So begin with your inline fuse connected and you connect it to the positive side of the battery using a battery lug. So what's happening here is that the energy from the battery is going down to the switch and when the switch is on the energy comes back here through, through here and the energy then flows to the camera. So that's the purpose of the switch. The energy then flows to the camera. So the, com the circuit is completed by the negative part of the camera cable coming back to the negative pole of the battery. Now the one other thing that uh, needed to be done was running this cable here, this white cable here, which is connected to negative. It could have been connected to the negative here, but it was easier for me to do it here because all I needed to do is piggyback. I use a piggyback con connector to piggyback on my uh, connections, my existing connections for my 12 volt outlet. Uh, that just saves me the trouble of making another connection to the battery, to the negative part of the battery. Anyway, this is necessary for the light of the switch. The switch itself has a light and that needs power as well. While I'm driving, the 4.3 inch monitor is in the car and I use a magnetic clip to keep it on the dashboard instead of the suction cup that came with the unit, I prefer to use this system here.